Okay guys, welcome to my video. I'm your host Asian MA. Today my topic is UFC 129 main event prediction between GSP versus Jake Shields. Uh, before I go any further, man, the trailer that UFC made for this fight is like the bomb. Like it's amazing. Uh, yeah, let's go into the fight, okay? But before I go any further, I'm, I want to throw two names at you, okay? Rampage Jackson, okay? Uh, Quentin Rampage Jackson and uh, Sugar Rashad Evans, okay? And I want to bring this to your attention because let's break down that fight, okay? It's already happened. Uh, for the people that don't remember it, uh, let me break it down for you on paper, okay? Rampage, what's his style? Wrestling, boxing. What's Sugar Rashad's uh, style? Kickboxing, wrestling. Now, if you look at Rampage, who has he fought that's a athletic, explosive... Uh, has the credentials of a good wrestler, Kevin Randleman. Kevin Randleman was unable to take down Rampage. So, you know, if you look at it like that, it's going to be a stand-up fight. You know, Rashad, Rampage is wrestling. They're going to cancel each other out. And then it's going to be a kickboxing match. Uh, who has the better chin, you know? At that point, uh, Rampage, he's only been really knocked out by Wanderlei, and he took like 20 knees uh, from Shogun before he got knocked out. And uh, Rashad at that point, he got knocked out by Machida by one punch, you know. Uh, so you weigh it out like that, who has more knockout power? Rampage has a lot more KOs. Uh, and Rashad, he only he only has like two knockouts compared to like Rampage. You know, Rampage has slams too, man. Rampage has the knockout power. He has the better, better chin. So obviously on paper, Rampage wins this fight. But in real life, what happened? Rashad was looking for the takedown. He was constantly looking for the takedown. That means, you know, Rampage is busy defending the takedown, and even if he's defending, it's not like he's gonna knock someone out when his head's by his crotch, you know? You can't generate enough power from this distance, you know? You gotta be like He-Man for you to knock someone out when their head's by your crotch looking for to take you down. So keep that in mind, okay? So what do I think is going to happen between GSP versus Jake Shields. Why did I bring up Rampage and Rashad? Because I think that's what's going to happen, man. Like, the casual fans go look at like this. GSP, best wrestling, best wrestling in MMA. And absolutely, you can't argue with the facts, man. He's taken down everyone, you know, even Josh Koscheck. You can't deny that. And uh, you look at the stand-up, you know. Obviously, you give it to the karate kid, the kickboxing kid, and recently the boxing kid, you know. He... So, going by that, GSP has this one. But don't count out Jake Shields, you know. Uh, Jake Shields, like I said, you don't bet against Mike Tyson as prime. And guess what? Jake Shields, he's beaten everyone outside the UFC that's a top, uh, top guy. GSP, he's also a Mike Tyson, man. He's beaten every single guy that's a top guy in the UFC. So one guy's being inside, one guy's being outside. So the, these, this is the clash of the unbeaten, man, at welterweight uh, in reality. Now, the fight's gonna... This is how I envision it, okay? GSP, he's gonna... Uh, he's, he's gonna... He has the ability to take the fight anywhere, but uh, it's, no, it's, it's not gonna be a surprise that Jake Shields is gonna go in there, close the distance, and work for a single or double. Will he be successful? I don't think so. You know, I think maybe out of the 10 tries he, he goes for a takedown, I think he might be able to get one. And one if he's lucky, man. Because Jake Shields, frankly, he's not that explosive, you know. Uh, he's not that explosive. He's not that athletic, at least in my eyes. Uh, he doesn't seem that quick. But uh, what he does have is uh, strength, you know. Uh, John Fitch, in one interview that I've seen, he said... Jake Shields is the is the strongest welterweight I've ever uh, you know wrestled with you know so that's that's saying a lot you know uh, I don't know if that's pre uh, GSP like John Fitch fought GSP but that this is what he said J uh, Jake Shields is the toughest uh, you know strongest welterweight he's ever wrestled with I wish I could give you that interview because uh, it's pretty interesting but honestly I don't know where I saw it. But I remember it distinctly, okay? So, back to the fight. It's going to be no surprise, man. Jake Shields doesn't want any of the stand-up. Even though, keep this in mind, okay? 
Jake Shields can stand with GSP. Why? Because GSP doesn't really have knockout power, you know? He has power in his hands, but he doesn't have knockout power. Because, let's face it, man, I'm not hating. I'm just telling you the facts, okay? He couldn't even knock out a guy with one eye, you know? He couldn't knock out Josh Koscheck. And, uh, you know, Jake Shields, he has a chin on him. He took Dan Henderson's best punch, you know, <laughs> and survived and dominated him for four rounds. Uh, so, you know, Jake Shields has a chin, so standing up, you know, he can take a shot coming in and uh, close the distance, and it's going to be safe from him in the clinch, you know. In the clinch, I think he's going to drop for single legs, double legs, uh, switch back and forth, maybe work some underhooks. And uh, if if he gets lucky, he gets the fight to the ground. I think Jake Shields is just going to hold him there. And, like, it's, it's going to be a really, really disgusting, ugly... Uh, the crowd, you know, it's in Canada. The crowd's going to be all riled up and then as soon as the fight like stalls because I hope everyone expects a stall man the fight's gonna probably get stood up a few times uh it's just gonna be an ugly ugly fight man uh but I just see Jake Shields pulling this uh you know th this out of his ass and he's gonna win maybe three rounds maybe four rounds won't say five rounds, you know, but I it's gonna be an ugly fight, man. <laughs> Notice I've said ugly a few times. It's just gonna be ugly, man. If GSP can finish Jake Shields, uh it's gonna be pretty damn impressive because Jake Shields he hasn't been finished in a long time. I don't think Jake Shields can uh submit GSP because let's face it, GSP's been training with Henzo, Henzo Gracie. Um Yeah, man. Ugly, ugly fight. I have Jake Shields winning it. Also, if you're online better, Jake Shields, underdog, man. That's a massive good bet, man. Really good bet for the underdog. Uh, Jake Shields has all the tools to beat GSP. Uh, he's a smart fighter. You know, Josh Koscheck has the tools to beat GSP, but he saw the fruits of his labor taking down GSP in the first round and decided for the last four rounds he's going to let a guy jab at his eye and close it shut. Jake Shields, on the other hand, he's a smart fighter, man. He knows his weakness. He knows his strengths. Uh, yeah, I can't say anything more. You know, Jake Shields, ugly decision, new welterweight champ. Uh, if you agree with me, thumbs up. If you disagree and you think GSP is going to be, uh, you know, the welterweight king, you know, there's no one else really except John Fitch that he has to fight to beat the division. So thumbs down if you think GSP is going to win. Thumbs up for Jake Shields. But that's my video as usual, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Asian MMA signing out.